So let's continue with the branches. Um, for now, I'm just going to delete this one. And uh, I'm also going to disable all of those because we are not going to touch the mesh of the leaves uh, anytime soon. And uh, for the branches, as I mentioned in the beginning of the, this tutorial, instead of end modeling them or using some spline, we are going to draw them. And there is some two really cool nodes in Houdini that allow you to do that. And one is a draw curve node. And the other one is a stroke node. So the draw curve node, as the name is pretty explicit, it allows you to, to draw curves. If I select it, and it enter with my mouse above the, um, the viewport. And I start click and holding. As you can see, I am now drawing some curves into my viewport. If I go into the properties of this uh, node, you can see I have a few options here. I can change the color of the, um, the stroke I'm drawing. And one really cool feature is that I can access all the previous stroke. For example, this one I can delete it even change the color of this one so you can see it's pretty powerful and the other thing pretty important is that you can change how you draw them so by default it's uh, projecting on the xy plane and uh, if i change it for screen space for example if i draw some curve now and i move the screen as you can see they are they are, they are in screen space so pretty cool stuff and uh, both of the nodes they do exactly the same thing the draw curve has a bit more option as you can see but for what we want to do we are going to use the draw curve since it's going to be more than enough so let me start from a clean slate i'm going to drop a stroke node and right away let me rename it to something like branch curves and uh, give it a nice color here uh, as you can see i also switching on and off this uh, property tab uh, if you hit the P key, uh, you can have this uh, floating pro property panel, which is pretty handy. You can resize it and everything. Okay, so let's start drawing uh, a base shape for, for our branches. It could be placeholder for now. We can redraw it any way we want after. But I'm going to select it, hit enter, and just start drawing some, you know, approximate IV branch uh, shape. Something like this. It doesn't need to be really precise for now. This is more than enough. One thing important is uh, you have to be careful about the which way you are drawing. So here I'm drawing always from top to bottom. If you draw from uh, some curve like this and other like this, it's going to mess up some stuff after. So just be careful. Right now, try to draw in the same direction. So this is perfect for me. And right now, let's just display the points so you can see what's going on. It generated a curve. But the points are a bit messy because um, it's uh, the way you draw them and the way the computer handles the strokes. It will create not really good looking uh, topology. So what we're going to do, we are first of all going to fuse everything. And what the fuse will allow us is hopefully it will uh, fuse some of those points here. If I just uh, increase the distance, you see it start to to fuse. I don't care if it's a bit messy still, I just want to fuse some of them. As you can see now it's uh, one continuous curve. And after that I'm going to put down a resample, just as we did before with the trace node. So we have a, a cleaner, you know, smoother topology. And we can even after change the, the resample. It's good enough. The next step is not to add some thickness to it because right now it's just a, a, you know, a flat curve and we want to have some thickness, some uh, actual geometry to it. One really good note for that is the poly wire. It allows you to input um, a spline or a, a line and it will generate just as you can see some pretty cool geometry. And uh, we can play with the wire radius. Something like this is, uh, is enough. And we can also increase the division as you can see, right now, there is one thing that's bothering me, is that the end of the of the branches are basically it's keeping the same um, width along all the curve. Uh, in, in a few lessons, we are going to learn how to, to have a tapering effect, to have the, the end of the branches to be really thinner. But right now, I'm just going to let the wire radius pretty thin and let those ends be like this. 
it won't be that that apparent in the final result so but we are going to fix this way later for now it's okay and what we are going to do is just add some color to it so we can see it a bit better let's call it branch color going to add uh, let's take a nice reddish kind of tone which is good and uh, that's it it was pretty easy to do and uh, now we are going to go on to the really interesting part which is how we are going to copy the leaves onto those branches 